to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom. And in the firm faith that the dead, the living, and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray, family, that you are well, absolutely well in all your ways, and that you're moving into living life truly on your own terms. And to my religious folk, to my religious folk, I hope you're seeing what's happening. You know, family, uh, if you've ever visited the motherland, you'll find that what is stronger even than the politics, what is stronger than the so-called corruption, what is stronger even than the political colon colonization, the Mzungu colonization, is religion. Especially when you go to some rural areas like in Kenya and many other parts of um, especially English-speaking countries. Let me know if it's the same in French-speaking countries. There's literally like a church at every corner. Sometimes there's more churches. There'll be like five churches and only one store where people can get their food or only one, you know, there won't even be any cultural center. Hey, this is Errol. Okay, Errol. Um, and, you know, it, religion has been one of the things that has really, really bound our people family. And it's because of this religious kind of psychosis that we see development being impeded across Africa. It's not even so much because of our, you know, um, our greedy politicians. They're not even the biggest players. It's the whole psychosis of religion and the, the, the whole indoctrination of our people where you're told to ch turn the other cheek, pray for the sinners, which means that we never take to arms, quote unquote, or we'll never see, you know, that's why we never really see these big revolutions like we did, like the Arab Spring that took place. Um, you remember when that was happening in like the Middle East and stuff, or was it Northern Africa? You know, those guys don't think they're African, stories for other days. But what's happening now, family, is ever since the whole T.D. Jake's ex uh, alleged allegations that he was at the freak-offs, uh, did his freak-offs, and then recently with the T.B. Joshua expose, which showed um, all these crazy things. It's been released by BBC. It just came out. It's three hours long. To be honest, family, me, I've just been reading the comments. I don't have three hours to give BBC. But uh, the general gist of it was the, the, the cult-like um, runnings of T.B. Joshua's uh, church and sadly, a lot of big Kenyan preachers and prophetesses and evangelist family, actually, even our own, hey, let me not go there, but even our politicians, even some of the wives used to follow those TB Joshua's. And of course, it talks a lot about how um, there was that massive, I felt it was a sacrifice. And I felt like I talked about it back then. It was a massive sacrifice uh, where hundreds of people were killed in his church. Now, um, as was suspected back then, it was showed that, you know, there were structural issues and all these things. We've seen um, also online, after the expose, people who had not even watched People who had not even watched the, the, the documentary coming up and, and saying, you know, this is an onslaught on Jesus. This is an onslaught on a man of God. This is a... And, but the sad thing is, all the information is that, I mean, if you're part of this channel, first of all, you're like, whatever, who cares? But you'd be wondering, why did BBC even make that expose? But we're not even here to discuss that. What I'm sure, I'm here to tell you, family is that we are witnessing a dismantling of religion on the motherland. And it starts with the evangel evangelist. Now, if you're, if you're someone with a keen eye, or if you've passed through the corridors of the Catholics and the Protestants and the you know, um, prosperity gospels, you will see that there's a silent war between these so-called traditional religions, which came with the Mzungus, and the more recent ones where, you know, with our own, these mega churches and our own evangelists and so-called apostles and stuff, which have really captured the, they've reinvented church for the young people. And it's all about prosperity. You can make it. You're going to make money, seed this, do that. They've also gained a lot of popularity, but there's like a, a, a an underground war between the two. 
but there's also hidden rules. So you'll never see one of them coming against the other, but there's hidden rules. That's why you'll see the evangelists of Africa never ever talk about how, and even the African-American ones, they'll never ever talk about how even research now shows Jesus was, Jesus was black. They'll never show that the, the biblical story actually happened in Africa. So there's silent rules in that religion just game family. There's certain things you don't mention because there's the old dogs who are looking at you. And I think, you know, and for a while, the traditional churches like the Catholics have been so hit. There's so much that's coming out about the boarding schools these guys ran, about how the, the you know, you've seen it, family, all the pedophilia and child abuse and everything that's against the Catholic church. And a lot of it has not even come out. What they've been doing in Africa even in these elite boarding schools, which are supposed to be the best of the best, those stories are going to come out and it's going to shock the world. But we saw them being hit very hard by the, you know, to the traditional churches. And we didn't see the evangelists, evangelicals or anyone kind of attacking them. It's like the religious boys all stay together. But now we're seeing the opposite. The evangelicals are being hit family. And if you are in any kind of religious psychosis and you're still not asking questions, then truly, 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 you deserve to be deceived. You deserve to be where you are. But what we're witnessing now, family, is that already since 2020, there's been such an explosion because now most Africans, especially like here in East Africa, get their news from TikTok. So the citizenry are the ones who are providing the information of what is happening locally. Um, and they're the ones, there's been so much re-education of our people that has happened in the last two, three years about, you know, um, so much family, about Yeshua possibly being Heru and all these things and how, you know, um, the Israelites are actually black people. Oh, there's so much that's been coming out, family. So for this now to happen, and then you saw how T.D. Jakes, he was still, he still talked about it, looked guilty as ever when he, you know, and that's also been going viral, but there's a dismantling of the religious pillar. Remember when I used to talk about the seven pillars that, that control, that the, the, the seven colonial pillars that control Africa or the world? Religion was one of them. And the religious dismantling, and I didn't even see this coming, but a lot of people, 2024 will shock the religious communities because a lot, a lot of Africans are going to start leaving the church and returning to their mother religions. Because this is the year of reckoning when fake power ain't gonna work anymore. You need to see some real divine spiritual interventions. And a lot of people are going to realize that part of their issues has been the religious miseducation. I don't wanna call it psychosis because I know a lot of you guys are, have come out of it, you know, um, or are coming out of it. So and let me not call it psychosis, but Religion is losing its stronghold across Mama Africa. And the only thing I'll say is that there are the so-called messiahs, the queen of the South, as I always say, is back. The female messiah is back. There is an ancient prophecy among our people that said the next Bible would be written by women. I keep saying the mother of creation is back. And with her coming back, we all must now return to ourselves and not look for God or for a savior outside of ourselves in a man that looks like I and I, in a woman that looks like I and I. But now seek God within. We have suffered so much because of religious psychosis. Religion has done more damage to us and our ancestral connection. It has literally shut so many of us out of heaven. Disconnected us 
had people being recycled because they were waiting for a light at the end of the tunnel when they died instead of wait, you know, waiting for their, the face of their ancestors. There's so much more I could say this, but I would, I'm actually going to give a spiritual angle on this on my secondary channel, Dr. Mumbi Spiritual Show. But family, pay attention to this and pray that our people don't get misguided again. Pray that now, because you know the damage that religion does. And you know how earth shattering for a lot of you on this show, we've been on this journey for the last couple of years of dismantling that psychosis in our own minds and the guilt and shame and fear that comes when trying to walk away from religion. So let us petition the ancestors to show grace and mercy to those of us that are still lost but that are, try, that, are, that are being tried to be awakened at such a time as this. And it's those same preachers and pastors who are bringing them all down. Because guys like T.D. Jakes are the godfathers. Our prosperity guys are always preaching about those people. Even Nigeria, those are the godfathers of a lot of the African, other African, you know, emerging pastors and evangelists. And those aren't just the only ones with the scandals. But those are stories for other days. Tuko Pamoja.